Alright guys, what I'm going to do here is I am rigging up my my line to catch the snapping turtle. Now what I bought was, uh, I use this for hanging pitchers actually. And what I normally like to do, get this around 3 to 4 feet long. A little bit longer. About like this. And what I'm going to do is I use this for my line. I'm trying to catch turtle, uh, snapping turtles. Go grab something here. All right. So I got just a normal fishing hook. Meant for a uh, artificial worm. Has a little bit of a bend in the hook. But this is what I use. So I thread this through. If this was fishing line, I normally twist it six times and take it back through, but we'll see if we're able to do that. Let's see here, get the pliers. I don't think it's going to be able to, but we should still be fine either way. Let's see that. Perfect. Hit that, pull down on this. Move down on this as well. Okay. And that is not going anywhere. Then I just crimp anything, everything down. Okay. Then all I do is get the milk jug again through the handle and spin this again roughly six times. And then back through the original hole. You can see that. Then crimp it, crimp it down. So what you're left with is roughly three, three and a half feet of line that's going to hang into the water like this, which is going to be connected to the milk jug, aka bobber. Now I could use this for bait, but I'm going for something that's small, so I'm going to go ahead and let this thing go. All right, that should be good. If you guys can see that, I got probably ten, five, six worms in there, and I got a slug as well. So I'm gonna use this for bait. All right, so what I use uh, for bait is we have a lot of bluegill in this pond, so I use I believe it's a number four or number six hook, so it's a small hook. And what I'm gonna do, just hang it over here, catch a couple bait fish. I'm hoping around the six inch mark. I, I don't want to use something too big. Um, or excuse me, too small to where I could possibly catch a catfish or a bass. So I'm gonna go, got a couple worms here, let's see what we can catch. 
Just like that. So perfect size. This is roughly uh, five to six inches. Perfect. So what I normally like to do is with the hook, let's see here where it's at. I want to, if you guys can see that, I want to take the hook right here, right behind the gills. And what I'll do is kind of go behind the spine. Now what that'll do, uh, the fish, um, it's not gonna kill it, because that's what I, I don't want. From what I've read, uh, turtles, they don't eat stuff that's dead. They prefer stuff that's either injured or, um, you know, or um, you know, catching it live with nothing, uh, no hooks or anything going through it. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hook through right here, and then I'm going to attach it to the milk jug, throw it out there, and we should be good to go. Okay, good to go. All right, so we're all ready. Now I normally just try tossing this out as far as I can. I've been noticing the snapping turtle out roughly around the middle of the lake, but I'm hoping here, uh, wherever I throw it, it's gonna end up coming in here, so. All right, here we go. All right, so there it is. It's uh, you can notice that the milk jug's moving here, which is what I want. That means it's got some good life left in it. I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Come back in the morning and hopefully have a nice size snapping turtle on it.